At the draft in 1994, the Leafs held the 16th overall pick. Who could have predicted that the next 14 years of Maple Leaf hockey would be defined by what happened that day? 27-year-old Captain Wendell Clark was now a Quebec Nordique. 23-year-old Matt Sundin was a Maple Leaf. It was the only time in NHL history that two number one overall picks had been traded for each other. The Toronto hockey landscape had changed. The Matt Sundin era was upon us. In his first two seasons, he led the Leafs in scoring, but two first-round playoff exits would precipitate a rebuild. With the 97-98 campaign approaching, the Leafs had been without a captain for seven months. The 19 Toronto captains that had all come before had all been Canadian. So like his fellow Swede, Boreas Salming before him, Matt Sundin was poised to skate into uncharted territory, smack dab in the center of the hockey universe. It wouldn't take long for the Leafs' fortunes to turn. The next season was filled with tremendous excitement and hope. A new right winger, a new coach, a new goaltender behind him, and a new home for his Maple Leafs. The first six seasons at the Air Canada Centre saw the Leafs in the playoffs every year hosting 13 playoff series, eliminating the Senators in four out of four chances, and advancing to within three games of the Cup Final in 1999, and within two games in 2002. Most great players have a signature trait, and Matt's was no exception. If you watched his goals, you noticed that familiar Matt Sundin smile. The only time you'd see a bigger grin is when one of his teammates was doing the scoring. Brian McCabe would say of his captain, he always made everyone feel like they were the same no matter what their role was. He always made the players around him much, much better. And what of Wendell, the player Mats was traded for? He describes Mats as an even better teammate than he was a player. His teammates, his coaching staff, and everybody that had anything to do with the team held Mats in the highest regard. He was one of the greats. Scoring goals is something Mats did a lot more than 924 other Maple Leafs. And on October 11, 2007, with a single shot, he became both the Leafs' all-time leader in goals and their all-time leader in points. At the conclusion of the night, he was named the game's third star. And the second star. From the Toronto Maple Leafs, Matt Sundin. And the first star. An honor only granted once before to the man who preceded him as the team's top scorer and who also preceded him on Legends Row, Daryl Sittler. Matt's led the Leafs in scoring for 12 of his 13 seasons before stepping away in 2008. Halfway through the following year, Matt's would return as a Vancouver Canuck. That night, his fans would give Matt's what is still to this day the longest ovation in Air Canada Centre history. Why such a heartfelt welcome for a player wearing green in his uniform? Quite simply, he was a Maple Leaf, and he was home.